Hey guys, how are we doing today? So I'm currently at the hatchery um, trying to feed and basically today we're going to be talking about something very very interesting all right so we're going to be talking about erosion in aquaculture basically all right because i know so many people in nigeria are not just catfish farmers we have tilapia farmers we have pangasius farmers we have so many types of fish farmers in nigeria in africa and the world at large so i'm going to be talking about aeration all right aeration what is aeration what are the importance of aeration what would happen if you do not aerate your ponds all right so that is what we're going to be talking about basically today my fishes are so hungry <laughs> i won't fed them i won't fed them today so i was busy changing their water as you can see it is almost crystal clear there are some that are doing shakara they don't want to come come and eat so this is their feeding point that is why they are clustered around here so i'm basically just dropping the feed almost like you're spoon feeding them so back to the topic so we do not deviate from from what we're about to discuss today so aeration in catfish farming aeration in tilapia farming all right so um what is aeration what does it mean actually because this is something that has really cost a whole lot of catfish farmers their fish stock mortality not understanding what is wrong with their fishes etc etc so what is aeration when we say aeration when we talk about aeration in aquaculture it simply means the process of mixing air oxygen and coat with water to increase the level of dissolved oxygen to increase what the level or the content of dissolved oxygen present in a particular water body dissolved oxygen is one of the most important indicator of water quality yes we have other parameters that can indicate a water is quality such as the ph and so many others but the water dissolved oxygen which is the content is one of the most important indicator that you can actually use to measure how quality a water is so how does oxygen in the atmosphere dissolves into the water so this is how it happens so it basically happens on the surface of the water all right when there is a movement a turbulence on the surface of the water that movement helps to what trap oxygen from the atmosphere and dissolve it into the water so the movement on the surface of the water those ripples that you see mm, that process what enables the dissolving of oxygen from the atmosphere into what the water so that is how it happens basically it is important that your water contains enough dissolved oxygen so that your fishes can actually perform their daily activities daily activities such as swimming eating digesting of the feed that they've eaten breathing you know a whole lot of metabolic activity within the system of the fish requires oxygen and when this dissolved oxygen is not available those activities won't be carried out so when the dissolved oxygen in your water is very low you notice that your fishes are at the surface of the water gasping for air all right and it's very bad and over time what happens your fishes start what's getting weak they start what falling sick because oxygen is not necessary is not available to break down their food it is not available for them to carry out the what basic metabolic activities that they are supposed to undergo all right sorry about the background those chickens are 
so as a fish farmer it is important you what give your fishes enough what access to dissolved oxygen why because what they are in captivity all right you put them in a pond like this this is a tarpaulin pond it is restricted so whatever is in the pond is what they are going to make use of you can't compare fishes in the wild that have access to fresh water 247 and fishes in your concrete pond tarpaulin pond plastic ponds all right so it's always important to ensure what your fishes get access to enough what dissolved oxygen all right so that is very key as a fish farmer there are certain things you have to know about dissolved oxygen and the availability of this dissolved oxygen to your fishes now there are certain times during the day and night that dissolved oxygen is low or high all right so during the day afternoon period the dissolved oxygen is usually high during that time why because photosynthesis has been happening all through the day so dissolved oxygen is usually what at the highest point all right is at the highest point because atmospheric oxygen is surplus and then at that point there's enough oxygen to be actually what dissolved into your water okay so it's very important when there is photosynthesis you know plants go through the process of photosynthesis to produce their own food all right they use what carbon dioxide and then they give out oxygen which we as human beings animals and the water on land make use of all right so that is it basically and um like i said it's always at the highest point dissolved oxygen is always high during the day afternoon and at night dissolved oxygen is low why because photosynthesis stops all right there is no sunlight to actually carry out that process of what photosynthesis so what do you do as a farmer in this case what do you do you have to what find an alternative if you would notice most of the mortalities that we experience usually happen overnight why are you saying it so most of all this happens where overnight because the dissolved oxygen is also a contributing factor to what whether your fishes will survive it through the night how can you improve the quality of water in your hatchery or in your fish farm how can you increase dissolved oxygen in your water number one is by doing what flow through flow through simply means allowing water to flow into your pond right and also flowing out of your pond so it's a simultaneous um, process so water is flowing in and flowing out thereby what diluting the water and then allowing what is to be refreshed at all times so that is one way another way is to what use an aerator so as you can see this is the hose from my aerator i currently use um, a rechargeable aerator and it is working now it is working so you need what an aerator you need an aerator an aerator that you can actually regulate because it's one thing to get an aerator it's another thing to know how to actually use it effectively all right so that is that and the third way to actually manage the dissolved oxygen in your water is to avoid overstocking if you check through the channel you're going to see videos on how to calculate your stocking density avoid overstocking when you you try as much as possible to avoid overstocking then you'll be able to manage your fishes the waste they produce all right because looking at it let's let's look at it the fishes are making use of the oxygen in the water you feed your fishes right probably there are some feed that got wasted the feed start decomposing the process of decomposing also requires oxygen the feces from your fishes too decomposes the process of decomposing also requires oxygen so the waste in your water and the fishes are competing for the oxygen all right so if you really understand what i'm saying 
given your fishes substitutes to dissolve oxygen either through flow through through the use of aerator or by actually stocking the right quantity of fish doing the right stocking density then you can actually what tell and what give your fishes a good environment to actually thrive and give you that result you're looking for so if you can't run flow through because people would always complain about oh foil and all that i understand you know foil would increase the cost of production to a certain level i advise you to invest in an aerator invest in an aerator it will cost you money but in the long run you're definitely going to be glad you got it so i'm going to give you a closer view or glance at my aerator so you can see it so my aerator is somewhere around here this is my aerator as you can see it is not plugged in at all this is my aerator it's not plugged in it has a regulator here so once i turn this knob right it comes on like so okay so it works without what it works without electricity and this particular aerator can work um it as without electricity so that is that this is what it looks like so this is my aerator as you can see so i had to block these other places because i'm not actually using all this currently okay so i'm not i'm only using this two and then it's on the lowest so this is what it looks like very very powerful portable machine that i have here all right so this is my aerator and it's very effective you can get something like this i think you should be able to get it for around um a hundred dollars all right which is fifty thousand naira if we were to convert it to um, nigeria currency so you should be able to get this for a hundred dollars with the horse and the airstone so that is it basically so that is that about um aeration and um the dissolved oxygen so do the right thing it's not just feed um that affects the growth of your fishes all right so a whole lot of factors are, are involved a whole lot of factors so if you really enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up make sure you drop a comment in the comment section all right we have a whatsapp group i'm going to be dropping the link in the description box we also have a telegram group that you can join and meet other intelligent successful and amazing catfish farmers so check the link the description you're going to see the link there you're going to see a link to my um whatsapp you can send me a message all right and yeah that is about it so thank you so much for sticking with me to this very point for new subscribers please smash on that subscribe button you're welcome to the family right now you're going to see two videos on the screen make sure you click on the one so as to learn something new today thank you guys and i'll see you in my next video peace out bye